Yo, it's your boy Trick Daddy Dollars. This is another episode of Bitch, I Got My Pops. I'd like to welcome y'all back. Today we doing something very special. We going hibachi style, damn it. That's right. We doing, we going hibachi style. A lot of y'all ain't gonna be able to go hibachi style because first of all, food is high as hell right now. So don't be go, don't go po out there trying to cook no shrimp and steak. And no lobster, oysters, it don't do nothing to a Swiss. And you know, it's, it's a lot been going on in the world today. Times so have changed, I know that. You got governors with Spanish last name, planning to ban immigrants. How you a governor with his last name DeSantis and you ready to get rid of an immigrant and you an immigrant your damn self? Shout out to the people that still support. I had one of my friends told me, I would rather Donald Trump because at least you know what you're getting. You mean to tell me you would love for a bitch to lie to you? You would love to be betrayed because you know you're being betrayed? Come on, man. Cut it out. I'm not telling you who to like, but I'm telling you you need to like him for a reason. Even everything is going crazy. Everything is going, all the people are going crazy. We got commentators that's out there voicing their opinion about John Morant, like they want him to lose his job. Do you do some stupid shit? Yeah, but do you want him to lose his job? You want to support black businesses, right? You want to support the black athlete, right? You want to help the young brother, right? Teach him something, give him some game. Stop always talking bad on somebody. Half of you sports commentator ain't never played a liquor sport in your damn life anyway. Y'all know what y'all talking about. Y'all talking about he want to be a gangbanger? It's easy to be a gangbanger nowadays. You can be, it, it, everybody want to be gangbanger nowadays. That ain't nothing hard to do. The man is young. When I was young, I did childish shit. Give him a break, man. Today we gonna talk about a lot of shit that a lot of people ain't gonna like. I got hibachi cooking. Everything, I got the steaks on medium. I got my chicken, get ready for my rice. I got my veggies, my eggs, my mushrooms, my Sunday season. Make sure you go get this online at sundays.gun and walmart.com. You get that Sunday season. Shit going everything but your girl, all right? Y'all stay right there, I'll be right back. The bitch, I got my pots. I got my pots. I'm Tamara, and this is another episode of Trick Daddy's I Got My Pots. Many R&B groups have risen to fame, made some hits, then faded away. But this group in particular has reinvented themselves, changed their sound, and adapted to the crowd to stay relevant, popping, and the talk of the industry. They started off as some project kids from Boston that could hold a note for all the candy girls and change from boys to men. With that being said, let's get into New Edition's top albums of all time in the United States. Number five, Under the Blue Moon. It was released on November 24th, 1986, and it went gold on January 23rd, 1987. And this was the group's fourth studio album, and it was a teen pop oldies album that sounded straight out of the 60s. The streets say it's because they were trying to appeal to a wider audience, needed the extra funds to get out of the Marie Star contract and owed some coins, or they just really wanted to make some love songs to the ladies. And at the time of the release, Bobby Brown was kicked out of the group and was sent packing back to Boston, leaving Ronnie, Ralph, Mike, and Ricky in a transitional phase musically. But I kind of like the oldie but goodie tracks on the album. It gives me a mini Temptations vibe. A Little Bit of Love is All It Takes for number four, All for Love. It was released on November 4th, 1985, and it went platinum on June 2nd, 1986. I don't know if I'm the only one that notices that Count Me Out sounds like an earlier track made from the previous album, Cool It Now, from the beat, melodies, and feel. You know, maybe they were trying to recreate the magic, but it worked. <laughs> 
Number three, Home Again. It was released on September 10th, 1996, and it went two times multi-platinum on February 4th, 1997. And it's a reflection of the group's mature sound and performance with all six members reunited after their solo careers. This album was set up to be successful with Sean Puffy Cones, Jermaine Dupri, Soki, Carl Solo, Gerald Levert, Chucky Thomas, Jimmy Jam, and Terry Lewis as the producers. My favorite is Still In Love With You, and I love the angelic music video too. Number two is a self-titled New Edition album. It was released on September 28th, 1984, and it went two times multi-platinum October 13th, 1995. And the boys were growing up, and their song started to showcase that adolescent love story of cat and mouse with heartbreak. With songs like Mr. Telephone Man, Cool It Now, My Secret, Did You Get It Yet? And I'm Leaving You Again, which was sampled by Sierra and Bow Wow for their song Like You. Number one, Heartbreak. It was released on June 20th, 1988, and it went two times multi-platinum on July 19th, 1994. And don't call it a comeback, call it a rebrand. One of the best ones in the industry at that. New Edition not only showed the world that they weren't kids anymore, but they were ready to turn that candy girl into a chocolate woman. If you watched a biopic, you'd get that reference. And after all the drama surrounding lead singer Raph's departure for his solo career, the group recruited Johnny Gill as his replacement, but it got awkward because Raph was still in the group and under contract, he was obligated to do another album. But it worked out because we got several hits such as If It Is In Love, Boys To Men, Can You Stand The Rain, and E Heartbreak, and Crucial. And remember, this list is not an opinion. It is based on album sales in the United States. Facts, courtesy of the RIAA. What artists would you like to see in the top five next week? Jump in the comments and tell us. Either way, I'm Tamara, and this has been another top five on Trick Daddies. I got my pots. I got my pots. Yo, welcome back to another episode of Bitch, I Got My Pots. Today's show called Unpopular Opinion. Because I'm more than likely going to say something that you don't agree with. But opinions like asshole. Listen, I can't be canceled. You can't cancel me. Because not one fuck would be given about you canceling me. I don't go out my way to humiliate people. I'm not that kind of person. This is not that kind of show. I am not here to bash anybody. I'm not on there. I only, I, I, I pride the stuff that I like. Not, I don't too much concentrate on things that that's irrelevant to me. That's why this show is called Unpopular Opinion. This episode right here. First, I know y'all ain't gonna like this, but I gotta say it. Instead of you, me telling you what comedians that I don't think is funny, I'm going to tell you the ones that I think is funny. And you have to draw your own conclusion on the ones that you think ain't funny. Or the ones you think is funny and I don't think is funny. Mike Epps, funny as hell. The late, great Robin Williams, funny as hell. Bill Cosby was a funny comedian. Eddie Murphy, delirious. Red Fox, Richard Pryor, Bernie Mac, and that's it. Yeah, I said it, that's it. He ain't nothing else to talk about. After I say that's it, that's it. You put your own twist on it. Best NFL quarterbacks. Of all time. Dan Marino. Joe Money.
Ben Roethlisberger, Tom Brady, Randall Cunningham, and that's it. I don't care how much you're paying him. I don't give a damn how much he get paid. This ain't got nothing to do with him going to the Super Bowl a thousand times. Who he married. Who his daddy is, his mama is. I said what I said. Yeah. And I stand on that. Now let's get into this. Professional boxers. <laughs> Mike Tyson, the best I ever seen did it. Was so good when I seen him, that fluke Buster Douglas, Got lucky and knocked him out. I damn near cried. Floyd Money Mayweather. Sugar Ray Leonard. Joe Frazier. Evander Holyfield. Roy Jones Jr. That boy Tank Davis, and that's it. Yeah, that's it. I heard about your greatest of all time. That ain't mine. Yeah, that's it. You see, these are unpopular opinions, but they're also my opinions. And with opinions, you know, opinions, they're like assholes. You know, without him, you're pretty much full of shit. Stay tuned, I'll be right back for some more unpopular opinions right here on the number one show on the web, on the net, worldwide. Bitch, I got my pots. Ha ha. You got my pots. Yo, welcome back to another episode of Bitch, I Got My Pots. And this segment was called Unpopular Opinion. Now, what I want to say before I go, I don't, I'm not going to tell you who to vote for. Vote for what you believe. Pay attention though. Stop voting just for the presidency. Stop voting just for the governor. Vote for everybody. Sheriff, judges, mayors, commissioners. All those people is the only one can help us immediately in our areas. You gotta vote for them people. Go vote for some fucking body. I heard motherfuckers telling me last, last uh, turn, I just wrote in somebody's name. If you tell me that again, I'm gonna slap the shit out you. Now, what I'm gonna do is, right now I'm gonna introduce my next guest. She been used, abused, and accused of some things she ain't motherfucking do. She got hands. She undefeated on TV and in the streets. I asked her, I said, why you do so fucking much? She said, cause bitches don't do enough. Y'all give it up for Miss Natalie Nunn. I'm coming in hot, daddy. I'm coming in hot, trick daddy. But you got your cup already. What time is it? Hey, it's five o'clock somewhere. Don't, don't, don't do that. How you doing, Don't do baby? that, baby. Don't do that now. They always accuse you of doing too much. Because these bitches don't do enough. Stop playing with me. You heard them. You know, they don't be doing anything. Like, I mean, I'm not gonna lie though. I don't be cooking. So you I don't, don't cook? Uh, what else you don't do? I don't clean. Hold on, hold on. What the fuck? Hold on. <laughs> hold on. 
I gotta tell you, oh, though, the other day I opened up the washer and dryer and I acted like I was really finna do something in there. Wait a minute, you and opened up a washer and dryer? I, I opened it up and my nail broke and I looked around. But ain't you married? Yeah, but that's why. I, what the fuck? Hey, I'm a bad bitch. <laughs> what does that mean? I'm a bad bitch. I hire people to do that type of shit for my me. My wife is. But, Listen, what? my wife a bad bitch. And, but does she cook and clean? Because she she do all that. She you cook, mean, clean, suck, well, look at you cooking. You don't clothes. cook for her. You gotta do more than just uh, you. You mean to tell me? Wait, wait, wait. So I you mean to tell me? <laughs> you mean to tell me this man married you and you can't cook? Let me tell clean? you. How I, let me tell you how I got this ring. Eat a booty game. Ooh, 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 I love to eat a booty. Eat a booty bigger than y'all thought it was, ain't it? I love it. And, and the gooch. Gucci crew. That's what you call it? Yeah, the Gucci crew. That's the Gucci crew. I'm in the Gucci crew for sure. I'm there. That, that's a good way of pleasing. So what you got going on, So, baby? oh, let me tell you, though. What I need you to do for me, What's for that? real, for real, what I really need you to do for me, I need you to come make a guest appearance on my show, Bad Boys. Man, you want me on to Zeus. I need you to come over to Zeus and make a guest appearance. Because I need the bad boys in the world to know that cooking is not a female thing. Because I'm a female and I swear on everything, I don't know how to do any of this, what you're doing right now. Like, I, I don't know how to cook. I check with Love and Hip Hop and see <laughs> if that's something we could do. No, that's but I, 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 I don't You gotta know. do it for me. Shit, I'm gonna I mean, lose my motherfucking job. Yeah. I ain't, oh. I'm, I'm not like your husband. I ain't going for that shit. What you ain't going for? You gonna cook and clean. Oh, no. I'm gonna no. teach you how to no, cook. No, 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 no. You gotta start slow. Okay, well, show me how slow. Let me, let no, me see. No, this ain't for you. This eggs? Is I know how to do eggs. No, uh uh. uh, -uh. I'm gonna teach I'm gonna go <laughs> level one. <laughs> level one. Boil water. Oh. I'm gonna teach you how to boil water. Okay. Then for boiling water, I teach you about eggs. See, I'm cooking these eggs like this because I'm gonna make some, make you some nice hibachi rice out of it. But Ooh, how you but, know I like hibachi rice? Someone told you? Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I can read it a little bit. Okay. I lie to them. I, I lie to them bitches. I can't read when they text me <laughs> and they be texting me and I don't respond. They be like, you ain't see my text. I be like, bitch, you know I can't read. <laughs> I got a little scared there. I thought something. That looks like it's a hot little pussy going off over there. She's hot. Yeah. You got to put her out. Yeah, that pussy that hot. That pussy hot. That She's... pussy a bird. You give it that hot. <laughs> I don't want that kind of pussy. <laughs> so who the who the who the um? We got the baddies all in the okay, building the too. Okay, the Okay, the baddies. Okay, who? So who, what you? you so which one I would like? Which one I would like? I got. 30, I like all I of them. I flew thirty five of them down here. Cause we're doing a yacht party. You know, it's the Floyd Mayweather fight on Zeus, so we're all out here for the Floyd fight. And we about to be on the yacht today. We're going out on the boat. You want to come out on the boat? We can hire you to cook on the boat today! No, uh, hell no. Nah, you think I'm going to be on the boat with some baddies cooking? I'm, have, I'm trying to have my dick out. You talking about a goddamn cooking. So it's a naked yacht party? I don't know, you but just, you just, you if, took if it I'm there. Around, if you I'm just be went too far I'm with it. I'm going to be around 35 what? baddies. You I ain't gonna be, I'm trying to fuck something. I ain't even yeah. trying to be cooking nothing. Hey, I don't want Anything. your wife to come for me. No, me and her not together no more. Oh, oh. Actually, I had a husband-in-law up until last year. <laughs> I don't know what, what she got going on right now, but I told her she a might well, she might well give me some of that pussy for that shit break down and give out on that. Here, let's put her out. Then hot it pussy. ain't gonna be worth nothing. Her pussy's nothing. hot, her pussy's hot. It's hot, it's hot. It's hot. So what are we so doing? Who is, the, who is the slim? Tall, Ooh. all in the front. So you ain't never seen none of the girls on the show. You ain't never seen. Well, girls. I know, I know one or two of them. Which ones? Just say which ones right off the top of your head. Well, like, I know Anne. Oh, you like Anne? She, she's a baddie. I, she I won know last Ann. season, Baddie South. Well, see, my god brother was fucking her. Oh. <laughs> and all um, business. Her pussy was hot too, hot like that. Yeah, but. <laughs> That's like my boy, like my style. And don't be over there laughing, nigga, before I say your name. Wait, she your style? Cause she like to suck on things, like door knobs. I love to be sucked on. <laughs> what? Wait, what? I like to get eight out too. Ain't gonna do all that. I got another one from um, the new season that she'll, she'll, she, she'll, she'll. Where's she from? Alabama, Mobile. Mobile? Mm -hmm. What's like, up, she dark skin, light skin? And she, she light skin, but she with the shit. She like to have a good time. You think I'm up tight? I think you, I think the way you cooking in here, you everybody's tight. Nah, nah, I'll trade some of this A bad this bitch, if you a real bad bitch, you love a bad boy that can cook. 
I I'd trade just, some of this with some of that now. You would? Hell yeah. Uh-huh. Even swap don't make no swindle. <laughs> But so, that, that pussy better not be sorry though. I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now. No, I, I listen. The baddies. One thing about the baddies is they all have good pussy. What? Else, what you got a chocolate one? You got another chocolate one on? Well, I do. Who? What's I her do. name? What's the chocolate? There was cat. Cat. Miss Cat. What cat from? That sounds like some New York. Miss Cat. New she's Jersey. from Philly. She's See from that? Philly. I and knew she, it was and she is bad. Like one of the baddest to ever do. When you gonna bring her by Sunday? You gotta They're bring here. Her. They're all here. They all came, I mean, got flown in. What time did y'all y'all? Four y'all got a floor. We yacht at like four or five o'clock today. Mm, okay. We leaving from the five. I might. You I coming? might. I might you coming up. with your dick out though? Don't scare no, 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 him now. No, 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 I ain't even. I don't even wear hoochie. I'll just just. You gonna, you gonna come in your speedo? No, I don't wear hoochie daddy shorts. Hey, but it's hoochie daddy season. Yeah, but I can't do that, man, cause I'm ruined. What happened? I'm ruined. <laughs> what do you mean? I, mean, I got a, to I got a, I got a big dick. <laughs> what I the can't, fuck did I walk into? I can't put that pressure on them girls like oh, that. The pressure, huh? Okay. I like the confidence. You see, you, how does how rice smell? That shit look good. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Are you putting the shrimp and the, um, all of that in there? No, no. Actually, I'm gonna bit. put the shrimp. This is better than uh, my fucking Benihana's. Actually, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the shrimp on the side. I just wanted I wanted to get but you I, on the show and see what you got going on. Oh, I got I, 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 I like to see you beating them hoes up though. You just see I knew you. I, lo I, I love to see you beating you them so hoes up. Cause you so Miami up. with it. Man, them hoes need their ass beat. Now tell me about it. What about Kashawn and Blueface? How you feel about them? They on Zeus with me. That's my show. I executive produce. Well, I, I, I don't really. I, I, well, I, I, I'm familiar with, 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 with their name and I know how they look, but I, I don't really know, know much about them. But so what you, do you know? You tell me about them. You tell, <laughs> no, let me know about no, them. No, you talk that shit because I know you know some. I don't really know much about them. So do you know Kashawn? Well, well, I know how she look, but I don't know. I don't know her mo. She with the shit. Okay. And then Blueface, you know, her 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 uh soon to be baby daddy, cause she's pregnant. Uh keep fucking with her on the internet. Like he just keep, you know, doing weird shit, fucking with her, getting her going. You know how y'all rappers be. But let me tell doing you something weird though. Shit, being weird. But what I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm gonna tell I'm gonna take I'm gonna take up for the niggas right now. Cause hoes do weird shit uh -huh. undercover. Undercover. Then they, then they run. And they and they they throw rocks and they hide their hand uh -huh. and they play the fucking victim. Uh huh. So listen, she laid up and had a whole baby from him. Uh huh. He ain't been killed. He ain't been tried with attempted murder, <laughs> but he shot that club up. And he was the same nigga then that he is now. So she knew what she was getting herself yeah, into. Yeah. So I ain't. So you sticking up for the niggas. I, so yeah. let me get back to the bitches then. Yeah. Since we I, gonna do I, that. I I'm not doing that. Since no. we gonna do that, you know. Niggas be lying. Is, is she a good girl? She's a great girl. She is a sweet girl. She is the baddest. Well, I know she got to be sweet. He got her pregnant. <laughs> but here's the thing. Here's the thing. Y'all niggas ain't shit. Y'all niggas be lying. Y'all niggas be lying on y'all dicks. Acting like y'all ain't out here fucking and doing some weird shit with these hoes. And then when the bitches got to run up on bitches, fight other baby mamas. No, you don't have to do that. So listen, down, listen, listen, listen. That's listen. what they be doing, though. So I'm going to confess to something right now. Okay, well, confess then. And this is only me and my friends, because I don't want nobody else to be like, damn, trick telling on the niggas. <laughs> well, get to telling, because we need some. Uh, we well, need one some, thing with well, well, y'all, okay. We need some answers. The reason why I say you should never call a man Yo, oh, you should never call a guy your man or marry him if he's not paying the majority, which is the bulk of the bills. Ooh. If he's doing that. I love a man. If he's doing that. Cook. So I ain't really got to do shit now. If he's doing I ain't that, gotta he's cook, not really cheating. I ain't got to clean, and I ain't got to work. If he's doing that, don't never confront him about cheating. Because the yeah. other hoes are side hoes. Side hoes get side money, side time, and, and side bills paid. He can't afford to so pay. So tell me what is one side bill that you would pay for a, a, a Metro, side home? Metro PCS. <laughs> Metro PCS. Yeah. Not the chirp phone. We going back to the to the chirp phone. So now. Trick is you crazy. You never leave your man because huh. the side bitch. Right. Right. You automatically lose your man to the side bitch. Right. 
She's going to have like. more time. She's going to have more money. She's going to get everything I already okay. have. Let's not stay out your man's phone. <laughs> and if this will help you, I'm going to tell you this. Hey, I love looking through the phone. No, you got to stay out of it. As soon as you fall asleep. Why are you looking through the phone? You're trying it's to find fun. something, right? Uh, and I can't wait to find it. You're going to find it. in your face. If you go in that phone, you're going to find it. As soon as you open up it. your eyes, I'm standing over your shit like this. Explain so, this. I love that. See, that shit is so toxic see, and fun. Your, your man <laughs> is perfect for you. Because if I would have been your nigga, you'd be like, what you explain gonna do? What this. was you going to do? I'm going to be like, I hit that hole two times. What are you worrying about? Oh, oh so that's yeah. like, oh. Yeah, I'm going to tell you right what you want a motherfucker here. Oh, we, we, oh, I want to, I want to be bad. I want, and then you know what we're going to do? We're going to get to fighting. Oh, yeah. I love it. And when you get up, we're going to fight again. Every time you get up off the ground, we're going to keep fighting. <laughs> Every time you get off the ground, we're going to fight again. We're going to fight again. And I'm going to keep looking through your phone. I'm going to keep being toxic. And we're going to fight every day. <laughs> Cause I'm a, I'm a confess. I love it here. I'm a confess. Yes. To so wait. Okay. So we don't look through the phones. What else don't we do? Now, if you do all, if you stop doing all that, I will confess to you something about me. Okay. I'm all a, we do is lie. I told you that. Cheat. I told you that. And wash our dicks off of other hoes' bathroom <laughs> What? Now you didn't took it too far. Now you taking a shot at that whole shit. Y'all not gonna do In that. In her raggedy ass Y'all not gonna do that. Y'all not gonna do on that. On her raggedy ass laminate Y'all not gonna do that. No what y'all gonna do? When you can come home and be on the marble flow? You know, are gonna, you dumb? This what y'all gonna are do. Are you stupid or are you dumb? I'm smart. This what y'all gonna do. <laughs> y'all gonna come home and run in the bathroom and jump in the shower. <laughs> And, and wash all the cum right out, right, right in your, <laughs> right in your man's Wait, shower. What? But we have, we cheat with decency. <laughs> Wait, what? We cheat with decency. Ooh, this plate looks like Benny Hanna's. Oh my God, this, this is, is this plate looks and like. And I, I don't serve nobody food up that far on the stove, so I'm gonna eat one. But you need, you need a little kind of little TWD counselor. What's I up? need counseling? Yeah. No, bad bitches don't. We are, listen, we walk to the beat of our own drum. We gonna do what the fuck we wanna do. When we wanna do it, we make up the rules. You gonna follow them. And that's just how it's gonna go. Well, and what happens when that drum start beating? <laughs> when the drum start the beating. The gang gonna be the I fast love, I love that shit. See, that's why I'm really the baddest bitch out here. You know why, Trick? Because I love when the when the motherfucking beat start beating and the shit gets it going. But here's the thing. Then we got action. And yeah. I love and action. Love action. I love that shit. She's talking that shit. Uh -huh. now. I love it when it gets it going. Let me tell you. Let's go. Let me tell you. I thing. love it. It, it. Right now. I get wet when it gets it going. Oh my god. I get wet. And I love the drama. And when it's wet. And I love all that bullshit. Bring all the toxicity. How I wet? Love it all. How wet? How wet? Well, I don't know. Let's see how this food is. Like wet, then, like how wet? Because it, when it get wet. My dick get harder than sixth grade. <laughs> I'm telling tell you right now, so I, how wet do it get? Wait, sixth grade? Yes, that was the hardest <laughs> shit in my life. <laughs> Wait, what? My multiplication and division, what the fuck? So how wait, you do all that? So I got one more confession for you. So, so now you're single, so you need one of the baddies. I'm gonna introduce you to one of the baddies. She she better know how to suck dick, fold clothes, and cook. No, 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 you cook. You no, cook no, 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 I, I will cook, but plate? she got to know how to cook. This plate is, can I get a fork? Hold on, we're going to pray first. OK, I love that. You I pray, right? I do, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, let me There you go. Hey, man, don't leave me out, man. I need something. This shit look What are you, good. what are you, what you want, see? I want some rice, I want some of the shrimp. It's and chicken I want some, in that rice. I want some of that rice in there. No, I we, ain't serve, we ain't serving that rice. All right, you let me have some, that, some, Mushrooms, vegetables, vegetables, and some scrap. Well, I don't know how to do all that. I, I, I'll fix him so he don't, he don't, he don't eat, he don't eat regular shit, so he don't get no regular <laughs> shit. Yeah, he want to eat the weird shit. He gonna get a weird, weird, weird ass. Oh, look at this! Look how clean it is too. You put the other eggs in there. You know what I be doing though? When I do make eggs, I told you I do make eggs. I put these right back in the carton, like this, and like I just put them in. Right. Yeah, but then afterwards, then I'll throw them away. So how but see how you have like a whole nice uh, bowl right there? Like, I, like when I keep, I'll, and then I'll put them right in the cart and then I'll throw them away later. How old is your baby? You don't cook for the baby? No, I don't cook for the baby. I you did, don't cook I, for the baby? No, well, the baby's six. I breastfed for a year. So, but, no, and then and then she, her dad cooks. I don't yeah. like to cook. I don't like doing this. There's a lot going this on. This is too much going on right here for me. <laughs> I do a lot of amazing things, but cooking is not one of them. Okay, mm. that, that's that's pretty. 
All right. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna lead in prayer. Y'all you, you want to see what she gonna say? I'm gonna know. <laughs> hell no. Wait, I can pray. I'm gonna know. We gonna get in trouble with God. <laughs> no, we're not. And I'm already going to hell. Ain't no VIP. <laughs> can in I there. go with you on the first uh, place? Hell no. I'm trying, I'm, when I get to hell, I'm gonna try to talk my way from down there. <laughs> it's gonna be hotter than the motherfucking that too. Hot <laughs> Come on, let's pray. Let's pray. Lord, I thank you for this meal we about to eat. Lord, I pray we can have women that's more stronger and more ambitious and want to cook and learn. They can do more than get on top, Lord. We, we need women that look better than she look. Look better in the kitchen than she look in a pair of drawers, Lord. We need women to do more for us. Yeah, you didn't take it too far. Come, and the Lord I, is not about to bless this food. So cut it out. Lord, Stop. forgive me if you think I'm being disrespectful, but I'm dead ass serious, Lord. In the name of God, I pray. Amen. 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 And hold on, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna, look, we gonna say another prayer. Because you're doing too much. I'm, I'm dead ass serious, y'all. <laughs> no, 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 Y'all no, no, need no, no, to no. do more. What, what else do you you're want not the only, to do? You're not the only woman that don't cook. It's a lot of y'all. And that's okay. No, it's because not. Because you can cook. So we, look, say we went together, right? Mm. And I say I don't cook. But you could. Just stop right Why there. Stop right there. Cook? If you say you don't cook, we ain't going cook? together. <laughs> Wait, what? So then what the fuck you is gonna the stop. you cooking? You can stop by and knock it down and go back by, by your business. Wait, I ain't even going to go with you. So hold on. So you telling me right now, if you was the one who cooked and I don't cook, you got a problem cooking. What type mm. of nigga is you for real? You, I'm the one going to get you out of book because I ain't going to be cooking every goddamn time. Yeah, you can cook. It's okay. This is some Benny Hanna's food. Make sure my daddy. This is so good. Oh my God. Make sure my daddy can cook. Yeah, because I got Trick Daddy, he can cook. You don't cook, but you got a lot of business going on, man. I Tell do. Trick about your show. You executive produce the baddies? Maybe. You executive. Hold on, wait, hold on. Yeah, hold on. see? That's why you ain't cooking. I ain't got time, baby. I'm, I'm making too much money out here. Damn. What other shows are you executive money. produce? Krishan and Blueface, Crazy in Love. That's okay. my show. Baddies and the Bad Boys. That's why I say, Trick, can you come? But that's know? all the gay dudes that be fighting and all they that stuff? all gay. Okay. That little one, that little one from Miami, <laughs> jumped up off that motherfucking table and did that little, <laughs> that little kick. Which one? <laughs> the little woman in the dreads from Miami on that show. <laughs> he got up and did a kick. Why are you talking about? He beat that boy ass. He beat that nigga ass. And I love that. Oh, you like, you too, I, I too told toxic, you. man. I, I, what? What? Too toxic. So wait a minute, the, the, the men's show named Baddies too? No, no, the men's show is Bad Boys. So he, I executive produce and the creator oh. of Bad Boys. Oh, you made it around Puffy. That's why you put all the gay men on there. <laughs> OK, you know what? I'm not doing this. I'm just saying, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what you're saying. You named it Bad Boys. It's called Bad Boys because it's a spinoff of Baddies. Oh, OK. Oh, my gosh. Oh. I said it. And you got blunts. Hmm. I have a cannabis company. I have a farm. I have a baddie farm where I grow weed in Northern California, where I'm from. You from Oakland? Mm -hmm, the Bay, yep. Mm. And then, um, so yeah. That's we gonna smoke so these baddie blunts on the yacht today. No, I, I met a lot of girl from Oakland that's not like her. She's toxic because she's toxic. <laughs> she, ain't, she ain't got me, I'm gonna blame her. Her lifestyle on nobody. Yeah, she's toxic. Me? Yeah. I'm scared. Um, you say you scared? He's not scared. I said, are you scared? Scared of what? A toxic ass <laughs> bad bitch. No. <laughs> we gonna come really on good. this boat today. Very good. You the know best at it. So you know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love a man that can cook the for real. I it like when women good. put good taste and stuff in their mouth. What? <laughs> he goes too far. <laughs> He needs to be on Bad Boys. Man, I'm crazy. not fighting one of them Transformers. Wait, wait, what? I ain't fighting one of them. Where they get beat up by one of them, where they, where they gonna ride your ass to them. <laughs> them, them, is, them is men. They will beat your ass. So do you know Jonathan on the show? He does hair. Listen, I don't know <laughs> none of them. <laughs> I don't know none of them. Don't be trying me, do I know them? <laughs> Hell no, I don't know them. <laughs> like, you ain't got nothing to do with that. He was on he was on Love and Hip Hop Miami. He's on Bad Boys. Prince. You remember Pr I don't know. I know he was on Love and Hip Hop Miami. Prince used to wear the pink all the time. 
I'm gonna mind my business, stay over here. So Brent is- He's on Bad Boys. He's on one of my biggest shows on Zeus. Bad so Boys. is he a Whopper? Well, what's a Whopper? He a Flame Boy. A what? Flame Boy. What does that mean? Is he Flame Royal? He is straight. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> Okay, so Trey. <laughs> I'm coming on the crew. <laughs> Do you remember Tanisha from Baddie from Bad Girls mm -hmm, Club? Mm -hmm. She had the pots and pans on the episode. You ain't gonna get no Where sleep. She at? You, yeah, I knew you look. I knew you love you. Is she gonna be on the yacht? You want her on the yacht? Where she at? I mean, she. I got 35 baddies out here right now. She not one of them. She is one of them. She is. So what you gonna do? You want some Tanisha? I think you want some Tanisha. You might need some help. <laughs> why, why, do, why do you think all the baddies need help? What is wrong with you? That's what you need to do. You need to executive produce trick. Who the girl you on? Um, who the girl you on? He needs um, a love show. Love show. Who the girl you boxing? Y'all little Miami little. She put up on me yesterday on South Beach too. I told her to get out the car. Yeah, Tommy. She, she had yeah, so. I told her, baby, I move comfortably in every city. I'm, I'm, you told her hop out? I told her hop out. <laughs> hop out. What's up? What you want to do? Right here on the beach. That's too toxic, yeah. man. I mean, because she pulled up on me. So now it's back to I'm toxic. Now, see, you asked who I box. I box Tommy. Tommy. And yeah, and she got her ass whooped both times. Every time she run up on me, she gets dropped. I try to be messy. <laughs> yeah. Enough. Yeah. <laughs> So what's up? Look, and now it's back to me, huh? I'm, I'm the bad guy? Tommy not from Miami, she, she, she lives here. Oh, I mean, I don't know where the fuck the hell is from. Miami hoes are the black dude. Oh, for real? You run up on the one you Miami hoes, you better know how to black for real. Oh, for real? Yeah, I'm from <laughs> Oakland. So I, I love to have a, don't threaten me with a good time. That's too toxic. Too toxic. Shout out to the Bay Area. <laughs> Bay Area. We love you in the Bay, though. We love you in the Bay. We love you in the Bay. When I, when I, when I, when I, I was with. in the sixth grade, I kid you not, Trina and Trick was playing on my shit. Like, Damn. for real. Like, when I was in the middle school, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. You came up bumping some so, Trick Daddy. And, real, and, and for real, for real, Bobby came over to uh, Zeus. We had the Bobby Love You, I Love You Per show. Who? Bobby, Bobby Lights. Who is Per? So his show was called Bobby, I Love You Per. Well, the Bobby got a show? It was a big show on Zeus. He had all the celebrities watching. So I think you need to come over to Zeus and you need to have a love show. And okay. I should executive produce but why you it and put all the baddies that are single on your but show. But why are you comparing me to Bobby and because, the rest of your Because Bobby Bobby's boy. in Miami too. He's a Miami yeah, boy. Yeah, but I'm, I'm a Miami boy. Bobby's a Miami girl. <laughs> <laughs> the hell? <laughs> Bobby, I love you, Purr. That's what the girls are screaming when they see him, right? But his show was all guys competing for his love. Right. It was the first all gay dating show ever on TV. And Zeus did it. It did big numbers. Oh, you didn't executive produce that I one. I didn't executive produce that one. Okay. Um, Jason Lee from Hollywood Unlocked did. So you gonna, but I think you, gonna, you need a love show with all the baddies who are single. All the, the bad girls, the toxic ones. Right and we contract. need to see we need to see if you can tame them. We need to see that bag. We need to see if you You gonna go get the jet, you gonna go get the bag? Baby, we could. Zeus got all the money. Zeus got all the money. You ain't gonna make more than me though. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. Look, if I'm executive producer, I don't baby. give a damn what you doing. Hey, 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 calm down, simmer down, down. Listen, simmer we, down. If, if, listen, <laughs> I'm, and listen, in my homeboy voice, I ain't gonna say his name. <laughs> I'm negotiating this one. <laughs> so, okay. If any money gonna be there, I'm negotiating it. Okay, so my question is, would you want to date some of the baddies? So if we put some of the single baddies on there, would you want to date like the Anne, the those bad, like, you know, they're single, they're looking for love too. But we're going to have to do Baddie, real. Bad girls need love too. We got to do real shit, too. like first night shit. Like what? Like they got to fuck on the first night? Yeah, yeah. You got to see what it's like. Oh, whoa, whoa, this dating show is good. <laughs> if, if you like me, mm -hmm. I mean, I want to fuck on the first night. You plan on being with me, it don't matter. We do it now, you make me wait. Don't make me wait, and that shit me over. You gonna eliminate them if they don't fuck on the first night? No, if I wait, it better be better than I thought it would. <laughs>
Y'all make sure y'all follow uh, <laughs> <laughs> on every platform. <laughs> What shit? Trust me. This it's man a, crazy, bro. You will never bore this you. This man me. crazy. <laughs> You'll never be bored. If you ever in the Miami area, make sure you come by Sunday's Eatery. Yeah. We the home of the Period. regular fried ribs. Yes. Man. Oh, I saw the truck. Oh, you saw the truck? Oh, yes. Let me tell you something. Can we pull the truck up to the yacht out there today? Oh, that's last minute. See, we don't do no. That's like you don't cook and clean. We don't do no shit on last minute. Hey, he, did he just tell a baddie now? Just remember this, <laughs> bitch. I got my pots. Ha ha! You got my pots.